Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Flying or Peace. I welcome you all again for the video of uh, our Airbus A320's cockpit. Uh, I will explain about the different panels uh, and different switches we have uh, uh, on the overhead panel, then uh, on the front panel, and then pedestal panel. Then some basic information and the placement of things we have in the cockpit around us so let's start uh, but in the beginning i recommend you to keep this video at 1.25 uh, or 1.5 x speed my rate of speech is very slow and second thing uh, if you are a type rated or you have some experience on airbus or uh, you have some information about the cockpit then this video is not for you this is someone this is for someone who have no idea about the cockpit or a320's cockpit it serves this purpose only right if you need a detailed video please let me know i will explain each and every uh, you know panel in detail i will try to make and some other videos but this video will be very short and crisp to the point first of all uh, first of all we'll uh, go through the disclaimer I do not own any of the image and content used in this course. All of uh, is just a reproduction of Airbus manual just to serve the purpose of easy understanding of the system and procedures. I do not recommend any practical application of any information used in this course. I shall not be liable for any part of the course being used in the real world scenarios under any circumstances. Right. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start with the overhead panel first. Here we have divided the overhead panel in two parts. This is called upper overhead panel and this is lower overhead panel. Right. So on the upper overhead panel, we have a lot of CBs over there. Black capped and green capped CBs. These are monitored by the ECAM. These black uh, capped CBs are not monitored by the ECAM. This is our difference. Then we have a maintenance panel on the right side of the uh, upper overhead panel. We have uh, reading lights over there. Then we have uh, no, no flood lights over there. Control of this flood light is on the pedestal panel. We'll let you know uh, in the video. Then we have an audio switching knob. We can uh, transfer uh, our uh, if we have lost any of the RMP and ACP, then we can uh, switch it to the third. Uh, ACP. This is the use of this audio switching panel. Then further, uh, we have lower overhead panel. We have divided this uh, lower overhead panel into three things, uh, three different parts. Left side. Then we have main middle part and then right part. Correct. We start from the left. Then we have wiper knobs. And rain repellent button identical to the right side over that we have a calls panel we can call the mechanic it will sound a horn uh, near the nose wheel then we have uh, calls for uh, forward and aft attendant and then we have an emergency call for the cabin crew only then we have an oxygen panel uh, mask manually on it will deploy the masks then uh, passenger system crew supply then rcdr cvr basically cvr um, operations then we have a gpws panel here we can control everything uh, about the gpw we have uh, mr elec power panel Okay, uh, what's the difference between red guarded and uh, black guarded panel? This uh, flap. So, red guarded means that uh, things cannot be reversed or actions will be irreversible if you will press that uh, button inside this flap. And uh, uh, black panel means that the things and the actions will be, can be reversed in flight. Correct, uh, they do not need. Uh, any uh, you know ground crew uh, actions but uh, in case of red guarded 
switches it will be it, they can be reversed only on the ground and by the ground personnel only that this is a chain one line red and emergency generator push button uh, one more thing uh, we have few uh, uh, switches uh, which are you know partially uh, covered and we can see through them but there are few uh, switches we can't see through so the only reason and only logic behind uh, this uh, type of ideology and the design is uh, uh, there is some indication behind that panel then this uh, partially covered panels are used if there is no indication on the uh, button inside that guarded switch then we use fully covered fully guarded panel plate over that then we have an evacuation panel over here uh, who will uh, give the evacuation command captain purser or captain then we have a horn shut off valve it will shut off the cockpit uh, horn then we have command evacuation command push button then we have a control flight controls panel relax act pack that's how we can switch them off this is adirs1 adirs2 and adirs3 in the center correct you know one thing you will be amazed to know that uh, airbus has divided everything uh, in a very uh, proper and uh, you know seamless way that uh, everything which is extra will be given in the center correct one irs1 adirs2 and the, the one third one is in the center right uh, same with here uh, same with engines engine one this part is for left side right side and apu which is obviously a third engine and uh, and then uh, standby things and uh, you know just an add on this is given in the center now the whole panel is divided in this way only uh, for an example uh, now this panel has been covered right now we will discuss about the center part of this panel um, let's say uh, this uh, for an example air conditioning panel this panel left side is for pack 1 bleed engine 1 bleed engine 2 right side is for engine 2 bleed pack 2 and the center part is for apu bleed this uh, the uh, button for apu bleed is given in the center similarly in uh, elec panel this uh, apu generator and external power these two push buttons are given in the center and uh, generator 1 and idg1 generator 2 and idg2 are given on the right side le or left or right side correct so this way you uh, would be able to understand the ideology and the designing um, uh, team the way Airbus has designed things correct so discuss from the beginning here we have an external light panel then we have a integral lights and signs external lights then we have an apu panel over here this is strobe light runway turn off light beacon light wings nav and logo landing lights retract on off nose uh, on the nose we have a taxi and takeoff both lights available then on the right side we have signs over here seat belt sign no smoking sign emergency exit lights overhead integral lights standby compass dome annunciator light this is a light uh, which by which we attract kids in the cockpit <laughs> we <laughs> attract them to become a pilot this is a light we call uh, you know a christmas light christmas button putting it on test will illuminate every key every um, switch on every panel 
doesn't mean doesn't doesn't matter that the switch is on and off on or off uh, that will illuminate by pressing this annunciator light test and we have a master uh, switch for apu then we have a start switch okay we have divided this uh, middle part of the lower overhead panel into a air conditioning panel electrical panel hydraulic and fuel panel fuel then hydraulic then fire correct now we'll discuss about each one by one an air conditional truck conditioning panel we have a pack flow controller low medium high depending on the passengers and the ambient temperature then we have uh, uh, controls for cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin temperature this position uh, indicates 24 degree then uh, this is 18 degree and this is 30 degree 18 30 24 mm, correct and then we have a pack 1 and pack 2 push buttons we have two packs two ac uh, packs for our aircraft we have uh, buttons for engine 1 bleed engine 2 bleed if you have uh, gone through my videos of uh, air conditioning pressurization then you would be able to relate it and i will make a different video for it uh, uh, in detail i will explain everything in detail this is just an overview i will try to make this video a very short video otherwise uh, i don't get uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, viewers nobody wants to uh, see a video of one hour or one and a half hour we'll try to make short videos right we have a apu bleed ram air uh, this is cross bleed then we have an electrical panel over here on the electrical panel uh, we have uh, uh, now we have divided this another three sections this is idg1 generator one we have a galley push button over here generator 2 idg2 in the in the middle part of this uh, we have apu generator external power we through which uh, we can avail the external power if it is connected we have apu generator bus tie contactor go and please watch uh, you know fcom explanation of uh, electricals you would be able to understand the whole panel i have described this panel in that video very well you would be able to understand that if uh, you are facing difficulties then again uh, like uh, let's say you didn't get what uh, this um, electrical panel how do we operate these push buttons then go and watch that particular video uh, of uh, my channel or uh, any channel you want you would be able to understand uh, the functioning and the use of these push buttons okay one more thing i would like to uh, cover here only then that we have a few push buttons where uh, we don't have uh, you know uh, uh, any something written on the uh, other side for an example let's take this one as an example we have covered every push button in two parts upper and lower right so this lower part tells us the status of the push button that uh, that the system is on or off right if this light doesn't illuminate it means that is the normal operation of that push button let's say uh, for an example this uh, off button of this generator one is not illuminated it is off dark it means keeping on this push button is the normal operation of the flight in flight this push button should remain on but if this off light illuminate it means that something is abnormal something is not you know to the point and the upper part of any push button uh, indicates the um, you know 
status of the system in the sense of that there is some fault or not in some push button we do not have uh, any of the side uh, we do not have any information any of the side for an example this we do not have any on off indication uh, for this push button and we do not have any uh, status information about this uh, landing flap 3 that uh, there is a fault uh, in this uh, landing flap 3 or not that's why we use two dots instead of uh, the fault or uh, any other indication we use this these dots gray dots it just signifies signifies that uh, this information uh, this side of the push button is uh, blank and do not contain any information correct we were at uh, electrical panel then we have two uh, switch buttons for uh, our batteries and we have a display over here which indicates its voltage should be about 25.5 okay mm. one one more thing you must have noticed that uh, on every panel uh, we have written everything about that panel let's say if instructor asks you to on electric pump a hydraulic electric blue electric pump then how you will go to that blue electric pump first of all you will start from here uh, wherever you will find electric uh, sorry hydraulic you will stop over there okay hydraulic is there you will come to the hydraulic then you will start from the left or right whichever side you is you are sitting let's say it's across you to on blue electric pump obviously it's a part of hydraulic so you will go to the hydraulic and then we'll go to the electric then you will press this push button right this is how you operate the push buttons these buttons correct then we have a fuel panel over here we have two pumps each tank and in center tank we have a um, uh, gravity feeding two gravity feeding pumps mode cell cross feeding Le this is for engine 1 these are for engine 2 then we have a hydraulic panel over fuel we have uh, engine 1 pump engine driven pump 1 engine 2 driven pump over here then we have a uh, uh, electric pump for the yellow system we have divided this into three green yellow and blue and this ptu this PTU is a connection between green and yellow. It helps to, you know, pressurize the other system in case of any of the system is not uh, pressurized where it should be pressurized. There are different conditions, different scenarios. Correct. We have discussed this thing also in uh, our FCOM explanation. So you can please go to the chapter and uh, get the whole full information about this panel. Then we have a fire panel over here. On the fire, we have again divided this panel in three. For left side, engine one, right side, engine two, and then APU. Uh, we have a test push button. If you'll press this test push button, uh, we will be having five or six uh, indications. Uh, this agent lights, uh, agent scope discharge light will illuminate this panel will illuminate. We will be having a sound chime sound then we will be having a master uh, caution master warning over here right then we will be having this uh, illuminated this sign illuminated it will say fire engine one correct i was talking about this these two push buttons uh, these are not push buttons basically these are just uh, you know signs for engine one or engine two mm. yes moving further as this is a red guarded switch you can't you know just uh, use this push button without 
uh, asking your uh, another pilot another cockpit uh, uh, crew we have uh, you know agent 1 and agent 2 for two agents for each engine just to uh, stop the fire we have only one agent for uh, apu so this is the only agent correct then moving ahead the right pan, right hand side of the overhead panel uh, wipers identical to the left side then we have uh, engine manual start push buttons uh, the, then we have a ventilation panel for the avionics, blower extract or cabin fans. Correct. Then we have cargo smoke panel, cargo heat panel. This is a very old a cockpit of a very old uh, A320s, initial A320s. Then we have a flight control so panel over there. We can switch off our LX, X, and FAC from here and uh, from here. So we have two LX. Uh, you will be able to you know figure it out here only. We have two LX, LX1 and LX2. We have three SEC, SEC1, SEC2, SEC3, and then we have two FACs, FAC1 and FAC2. This is how we have seven uh, uh, flight computers over there and we can control these uh, flight controls from 24 view panel on the right side and uh, 23 view panels on the left side. Then we have uh, uh, you know RMP3 radio management panel 3 and uh, ACP3 over here used for uh, A cars and uh, just to record our cockpit and uh, a PA announcements now moving further uh, on the front panel moving uh, uh, to the front panel we have divided this panel into another three parts this is uh, our captain side this is our first officer side or I should say uh, to be precise uh, uh, this is uh, captain side this is uh, first officer side and this side this thing is for both right so starting from the left we have a speaker over here then a ac vent then we have a pfd brightness nd brightness pfd nd transfer we can transfer these two uh, screens to each other then we have a loudspeaker knob here we can uh, increase or decrease the volume console floor we have a floor lighting console uh, to the bright or dim over here we have a gpws glide slope push button here this is our pfd this is called ifis panel uh, this is our nd In our ND, we have uh, several modes. Uh, we can switch those modes from uh, here over here ILS, Rose ILS, Rose VOR, Nav, Arc, or Plan mode. What, uh, how they look like? Well, just a second, we'll show you. I have taken a you know a picture from the Google. Uh, this is how they look like. This is Rose ILS in which we will be having an ILS information, ILS information, glide slope, uh, ground test, wind direction, ground speed. Then we have a Rose VOR, we will be having an information of the VOR. So uh, basically, uh, let me clear you this thing here only. The single needle is for VOR1, this uh, two needle, needles are for VOR2, this is uh, represented here. Correct. Hmm. Then we have a rose nav mode over here. Then uh, this uh, lower part is for radar and uh, weather radar basically. This is arc mode. Generally, we I, I love this mode. If uh, we are on autopilot, then uh, we definitely use this mode. This is a plan view. 
this is north oriented this is the basically plan or uh, nav mode arc mode are basically same but uh, this uh, plan mode is north oriented and you can see your whole route uh, into this uh, plan mode everything whatever you have planned through your uh, box mcdu you can just see over here you can increase or decrease the range with this knob 10 20 40 uh, 80 160 and 320 nautical mile then we have okay we have uh, uh, you know indication over here side stick priority whichever side the side stick priority is who whoever last taken the side stick priority this will indicates towards that side let's say first officer have that uh, priority then uh, this will be illuminated and uh, nothing will be here but uh, here fo will be illuminated if first officer have the priority if the captain has the priority then uh, this side there will be a, this arrow and uh, here the captain will be illuminated here the captain will be illuminated this captain correct then we have a chrono uh, over here we can start our chrono uh, here this is 00 and as 00 correct then we have uh, master warning master caution uh, buttons over here we can cancel our master warnings from there okay uh, then we have uh, our uh, ifis control panel as this is ifis these are screens and this is their control panel this is a you know push pull uh, uh, knob or button but it's not a button basically it's a knob we can uh, you know uh, change from standard settings to the qnh settings then we have a button for fds fds are the things uh, we can uh, use just to see our flight path intended flight path this is ils push button uh, adf vor adf vor uh, toggle switch over here constrain waypoint airport vor and db these some push buttons i know this video may be little uh, you know boring for you but uh, uh, this is uh, just an informative video just a uh, uh, video where i can tell you guys uh, what and where the things are here is another ifs panel identical uh, ifs control over there this is uh, called uh, fcu flight control uh, unit okay this is fcu panel uh, Uh, this is if is if is control panel if is control panel here also then uh, okay uh, these are the things this is identical to the left side same identical to the left side then we have uh, okay come to the main part this these are some standby instruments over here now we have isis which uh, in which we have integrated uh, almost every instrument in that you can see over here this is isis this is isis this is the latest thing latest standby system we have then we have ecam system we have upper ecam and lower ecam these are the very important uh, you know screens over uh, you know for the pilots this indicates the um, you know engine's information gives you the engine information this is uh, its lower part uh, tells you the you know ecam actions and uh, you know current checklist we can say here we can see the secondary failures then we have uh, lower ecam this is called ewd upper upper uh, screen is called ewd engine warning display and this is sd this is called system display we have in total 11 system displays 
but uh, we have one more which is called cruise display we can see the you know all the information about uh, you know a pressurization engine electrical hydraulic fuel apu flight controls wheel door oxy page conditioning page pressurization page so in total we have total 12 pages contains different information you know we can select any of them if we want by just selecting uh, just a second by just selecting any key from the ecam control panel where is the ecam control panel now this is called ecam control panel this is called ecam control panel you can select any of the uh, you know page you want you will press all then uh, one by one every screen will be displayed every page will be displayed this clear push button uh, we have two clear push buttons just to clear any uh, you know warning or caution or anything from the this display then we have a, a landing lever then we have a landing gear indications are they unlocked or they are down locked correct then we have a brake fan nose wheel and anti skid switch we will switch off this uh, uh, toggle then uh, we will not be having anti skid and nose wheel steering we have auto brake uh, you know selecting panel max medium low or max is used for uh, takeoff we can't use for uh, landings but low and medium both can be used for uh, uh, landings too they differently different uh, uh, selection low or medium will give you the different rate of uh, deceleration during landing correct moving further uh, we have an uh, accumulator pressure and brake pressure indicator over here this is for yellow system or we can say alternate braking in uh, uh, normal braking if you are using uh, your green system for the braking definitely you want to be able to you know see any indication on this panel this is for a uh, yellow system only and alternate braking if you don't know about the brakes you can go to the landing gears and then uh, you can watch that video i have made uh, for landing gears in which uh, i have explained these things right then we have some speeds uh, flap speeds over here then we have a registration and cell call code over here that's it that was all about the you know front panel now comes the uh, lateral uh, correction pedestal panel over here we have divided this pedestal panel again into three sections left to right is for uh, captain and first officer respectively then we have a um, center part center part contains uh, your uh, um, thrust levers your uh, <clears throat> your engine mode selector uh, your engine master levers your uh, ignition switch and the few buttons and switching panel uh, for the ecam <clears throat> buttons for the ecam uh, ecam pages right this is most famous mcdu <clears throat> mcdu you can use this device just uh, if you know how to use this this device your life is super simple just put information in this mcdu this box and your aircraft will fly automatically wherever you want you want to take your aircraft to right <clears throat> autopilot takes information from this box and fly you to the destination then we have a, a rmp for our captain we have another rmp for our first officer we can select the frequencies they will be selected to the standby and then we can transfer those to the active first of all you will uh, you know selecting every frequency to the standby and then uh, you will transfer it to the active side vhf1 is for left side vhf2 is for right side correct 
okay we have an uh, you know on nav light uh, we can use or tune our vor or ils from the rmp panel also if your fmgc has failed or it's not taking data or anything and you know if anything goes wrong then we can go to the standby nav panel on our rmp and tune uh, red na yeah, navigation frequencies from this knob only which is used for uh, communication frequencies correct then we have uh, basically these both are uh, identical that's why I'm, i am using both of these to explain you this is called acp audio control panel mm, to call mechanic to talk to the mechanic attendant then uh, this is for uh, okay uh, they, these are uh, you know rece receptor keys and these are transmitter keys if you have pressed this key then uh, you will be transmitting on uh, uh, vhf1 and if you have pressed that knob and uh, you know turned it clockwise it will increase the volume of the reception knob and if you have pressed it and turned it to the left it will off it will you know brings the volume to the zero you won't be able to hear anything these are the transmitter keys you will if you will press it then uh, the person uh, you know on the opposite side will be able to listen you if you have pressed that again then there will not be any these green lights over there you can see green light on the call uh, button over vhf1 over here right and we have an infrared uh, knob over here we if we keep it on red then uh, we will be transmitting on radios and if we will keep it on in it this int then we will be having an internal uh, communication between both pilots okay not much uh, we will discuss about it in detail then we have a flood panel lights integral lights door lock unlock uh, knob then this is very hazardous uh, weather radar be cautious while using it this is ground spoiler uh, if this is you know pulled up it means it's armed if we have pressed it towards uh, you know we have punched it towards the ground it means this is uh, you know disarmed this has been disarmed correct then we this is the only thing we have on the left side then uh, coming to the middle of the middle part of the uh, this uh, pedestal panel and we have a switching switching of uh, attitude heading air data ecam eis dmcs and ecam nd transfer uh, th these all are for standby uh, systems if we will keep that uh, to the captain f cop captain 3 or f43 then uh, that additional instrument or system will go to the captain or f4 side respectively let's say f4 side attitude heading has gone then you can switch that additional uh, attitude heading uh, system we have to the fo side and uh, fo will be able to receive information from the you know standby uh, system similarly the every uh, for the every uh, system air data eis and ecam correct then this is ecam uh, uh, brightness knob upper four upper and lower ecam this is uh, emer cancel this can cancel every every um, emergency warning or caution we have if we are not able to um, cancel it from the warning or caution push button on the glare shield we have thrust levers over here this is uh, pitch trim these are the thrust lever these are the you know thrust uh, auto thrust uh, insective disconnect push buttons then we have uh, reversers handle over here we will be having two uh, notches over here for the reversers we have uh, uh, engine one and engine two levers master levers then ignition uh, then further we have rudder trim 
then parking brake on and off and then this is landing gear uh, gravity extension over here then further similar to the left we have another uh, mcdu rmp acp audio control panel radio management panel then we have uh, you know flood lights uh, this is for printing and dfdr event this is uh, not that important for you at this stage then we have uh, this uh, tks and uh, mm, transponder basically you must have studied about uh, um, mode a mode c and mode sierra mode s transponder this is something uh, uh, you know where you can relate yourself then we have a tks uh, panel also over here uh, this is not uh, in this but uh, in here it is here it is this is uh, our uh, Mm -hmm. this is our uh, you know keys for our scock code for our mode s transponder and this is uh, our tcas tara um, above below altitude reporting and everything every function of tcas over here correct then we have a flap over here you can see one two three full then we have a printing machine on board you can print your documents over <laughs> over here right and these are the flaps and the printing machine on board correct this was it from my side about the panels i have shown you everything about the panels these are some uh, pictures i have taken from the fcom you can go and check over there uh, this is about the overhead panel and uh, this is the upper overhead panel okay one more thing i would like to uh, let you know tell you guys uh, this is our side stick left hand side stick and uh, we have uh, you know autopilot disconnect and uh, disconnect push button you will press it twice we will disconnect the autopilot this is the normal way to disconnect the autopilot then we have a tiller to steer the aircraft on the ground generally generally only pilot flying uh, uh, captain has this authority in india generally i am talking about uh, okay uh, then uh, these are the rudder pedals we can uh, we can change their position by just pulling that uh, uh, no, um, this thing over here and we can change its position forward and backward this is very practical and uh, you know very useful thing for airbus pilots then we have a tray table over here uh, behind these uh, if screens these are the tray tables and hey these are something we can put our legs on okay and uh, what can i tell you about this is uh, these are the sliding windows on the left and right side this is the only sliding window you can uh, peep out of your aircraft and see what's going around not in the flight right we have uh, you know uh, headset holder over here both side left or right side and we have an escape rope just above that this is the escape rope it is around five to six meter i think if i'm not wrong we can use this escape rope it is tied one one side and we can use another end of that rope to you know throw out and we can use that rope to you know go out of the aircraft in case of any emergency or something this is just a grip this thing is just for the grip correct okay uh, it's the back panel there are so many cbs on the back panel these windows are not slidable the this these are the fixed windows here we have uh, on the this is called lateral console uh, right hand side lateral console we have oxygen mask over here then we have uh, portable uh, fire extinguisher over here 
okay um uh, here we contain life vest behind the seat and uh, here we store the landing gears uh, pin uh, you know during uh, cockpit preparation and after that uh, we say uh, doors pins and cover uh, gear pins and covers check available that they are stored over here here we can store them right this is uh, you know third or fourth occupant sitting area third and fourth occupant sitting area over here uh, what can i tell you about here we store the smoke hood i will talk about the smoke hood in another video we have discussed this uh, rain repellent before uh, this is where we store the our rain repellent uh, this should be this needle should be in green arc it means that the pressure is enough and the system has enough fluid to uh, spray on the clear sheet on the our uh, shield basically here we have a camera uh, in our cockpit we can see who is standing outside the cockpit uh, you know it's very useful in case of hijack or in any abnormal situation where a pilot wants to know who is standing outside is it safe to open the door or not correct mm. it's basically uh, if you know it's a blood proof uh, gate right it's a blood proof gate it's not uh, that easy to open if you think it's easy you are wrong totally wrong so guys that uh, is it about the uh, cockpit of our a320 i have covered basic things this is hud head up display this is optional thing it's not available in all aircrafts it depends on the company either they wants it to be okay i have i have forgotten about this uh, fcu panel this is the automation uh, a panel we control the automation of our aircraft so this is uh, altitude knob this is the heading knob and this is speed knob if you will press it speed will be managed heading uh, will be managed your navigation will be managed and uh, um, this is for uh, you know vertical speed you can manage your vertical speed with the plus or minus uh, 100 200 300 400 or 1000 1500 basis uh, how much rate of descent you want to maintain you can just select that then we have autopilot 1 autopilot 2 and auto thrust buttons this is how uh, this is these are the buttons from where we connect our uh, autopilot and auto thrust right this is approach arm uh, push buttons expedite push button and localizer lock button okay then we have an uh, altitude uh, this uh, heading vertical speed uh, or track fpa button over here this is speed uh, indicated air speed to make convert and uh, push button we can just press it and uh, it will convert our uh, indicated or ca calibrated air speed to mac number and vice versa then uh, i would like to tell you about this is these are the knobs we control the you know glare shield lights uh, by these knobs this is it guys i hope uh, you like this video uh, i request you to comment and let me know uh, what else you want to know about the a320 i would love to make another video uh, thank you very much